Hey there, seventh and eighth graders. You know what time it is. It is Cura Personalis time. So we are going to do slides just like we did last year. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set them up and kind of do the first couple of slides with you. And I'll send you a new video each day leading you to the next slide. So you'll have an email in your inbox. Notice how my inbox is nice and clean. It's easy for me to find it. But if you need to, search 2021, 2020 uh, uh, Cura Personnel slide, seventh and eighth grade. Click on it. And it says, all right, here's the link, but more importantly, it says, here's who you share it with. So eighth grade, you need to share it with all these people. Seventh grade, you need to share it with all these people. And you have until May 28th to complete your slides, right? Don't show up to a Cure Personalities Conference without those slides done. Uh, there are going to be a lot of silent moments that you're going to have to explain, right? So I'm going to pretend that I'm an eighth grader. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this list so that I don't have to look back at it. Copy. Um, and I'm going to click on this. Notice it will have me make a copy right away. So I click make a copy. And the first thing we're just going to do today is we're just going to rename this document. We're going to rename it our last name, comma, first name. And then we're going to share it with all the people that we need to share. So uh, copy of 2021 personnel. So we delete that by clicking up here in the upper right hand corner, hitting backspace. And then we say, all right, Mason, comma, Mike. And then we leave this 2020, 2021 Cure Personnels. Then I go over to Share, and because I already copied those names, all I have to do is click up here, Control V, or just uh, copy it um, and paste it, and then make them editors and go ahead and send those off. I'm not going to do it right now, not to flood their inboxes. All right. So first thing we're going to do today is our title page. Right? So it's easy. First and last name. So Mike Mason. Delete that name, obviously. 2020 Cure Person S. All right, let's insert a picture. So insert image and then by camera. We all have cameras. If you don't have the camera, figure it out. Give me a thumbs up, a nice smile. All right, and then I just hit insert. Cool, there it is. We'll drag it over. Make sure it kind of gets over that circle there. All right, there we go. First slide done. Now, the thing about this, the beautiful thing here is it's got all the instructions down here at the bottom. If you're ever on a slide, you're like, what am I supposed to do on this slide? Boom, it's right there at the bottom. So let's also do the opening prayer. So for the opening prayer, you have a couple of options here. You can either type out your own prayer. You can search up a prayer online. Uh, or you can record yourself doing your own prayer as well, right? Insert video, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and do prayer of generosity. So I've Googled it. And then clicked on images and I've said okay I like this one so I click on it I say copy image and then I come back over here and I, I get in this text box and I obviously delete all this stuff by highlighting and hit backspace and then I click again and I say paste and there's my image and I just you know kind of move it over and this is the prayer that I will lead everybody in to start my conference right so I welcome everybody. I'll make introductions. Hey, you know, my mom's here. Mom, these are my teachers. I'd like to start with prayer. I'm going to start with prayer of generosity. It's on the screen if you'd like to follow along with me. And boom, I do it, right? Then the next and last thing I'm going to show you today is the next slide, which is, should look familiar. It's the examine, all right? So the examine is kind of... Uh, a list of what you're grateful for. I'm going to do three things and reasons why. Emotions, uh, the message behind one of your emotions, and then some intentions. So I'm just going to do this kind of quickly here. First one, um, when I think back on the year, what am I? Oh, I'm definitely grateful for my mom and dad. Um, I'm grateful for my mom and dad because they both provided me with a lot of advice during some difficult times, right? Um, and if you ever uh, see, notice how my during is gone, I'll just click enter right there and it will pop up. So if you just need to make this picture smaller, just click on it, move it around, or just, you know, um, hit enter and the word will go to the next line. All right. So you need three things that you're grateful for and reasons why. So think deeply, right? They could be, you know, the things that give you peace in this world, the things that have given you love. They could be people, places, things. Um, you know, you're a seventh and eighth grader. Think deeply about it. Uh, next, you're going to do emotions. So don't do happy, sad, mad. Notice down here, I've included this emotions chart for you. So if you click on it, it will give you an exam. You don't have to do this exam, but it gives you this emotions chart. So like, let's say at some point I uh, was feeling um, happy, right? And then, okay, instead of saying happy, I can say one of these words. Or I could even go more and I could say, hey, at one point I was feeling ah, inspired. Okay, yes, my students definitely inspired me. Uh, this year, and so did my colleagues, so inspired, right? 
And then I go into this emotion and I say maybe the message, you know, the message behind the emotion of inspired may be uh, that I was really proud of how hard my students and teachers worked this year despite all the odds put in front of them. I think this means that I should surround myself with hard working people and recognize their hard work. So notice anytime we get one of those red underline, make sure that uh, we fix that stuff, right? So uh, it went away for a second, but I think it meant it's a dash, right? We want to make sure all our spelling is there. And then um, prayers, right? God, help me, please. God, God, please help me to remember to put others first. God, I would like to pray for my sister who is moving this summer. Uh, and again, see how that word summer's gone? So I can go to the front of the word and hit enter, right? And go back and hit enter again. Um, God, I would like to pray for an end to injustice, right? And so just offer your up your intentions, right? So that's all I'm going to do today. Um, we only do the first couple of slides. Um, but I'll do a new video each day um, to give you kind of a heads up of, of how to do that. And if you ever do something that you don't like, just hit this undo button and it will you know, un undo what you've done. Everything you do on here will save automatically. Uh, you don't need to share it with us a whole, whole bunch of times. Once you've shared it with us right at the beginning, that's the only time you need to share it with us. All right? So uh, get um, try and finish one through three today, just like I did, and you'll be on a good pace and be ready to go come May 28th.